Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel. Before we get started, don't forget to click the subscribe button if you want more videos about coding interviews. So without further ado, let's get started. Today in this video, I will show you how to solve the problem, find first and last position of element and sorted array. So the problem here is that they give us an array of integers sorted in non-decreasing order. And they ask us to find the starting and ending position of a given target value. Also, you must write an algorithm with all flow and runtime complexity. So for example, if we have this input sorted array and we have a target integer of eight, the result will be index three and four, means that the starting position is 3 and the end position is 4. So in the details we know that the array is sorted and also we know that the input is an array. The best technique to solve this problem is by using binary search algorithm and binary search algorithm is an efficient algorithm for searching for an item from a sorted list of items and also it's known as the divide and conquer algorithm or also it's known as a half interval search or a logarithm search that have a time complexity of log Fan. So here is how binary search gonna work in this problem to search for the first appearance of the target in the array. First we're gonna start by initializing two pointers left and right. Left start at the first element in the array and the right at the last element in the array. Then we're gonna calculate the middle pointer. After that we check if the target is bigger than the current middle number. If true we set the left to be the next number after the middle index. Otherwise if the target is smaller than the current middle number if true we set the right to be the middle index minus one so the last condition is that if the middle number is equal to the target we return the middle index but with respect and some conditions and the conditions are the following so first we start by checking if the middle is equal to zero if true that means that there is no number before so we return the current middle number index which is zero otherwise if the middle index is not equal to zero we need to set another condition that if the number before the number at the middle index is not equal to the target and that means that the current position is not the first time our target appears or it's not the first occurrence of the of the target inside the array so it's not the start that we are looking for otherwise if true that the current position is not the start of the appearance of the target in the array we're gonna move the right pointer to be the middle index minus one so let's use this input array so that i can show you how it's gonna work the target here is eight so we start by initializing two pointers the left starts at the first integer in the array and the right start at the end of the array then we loop over the array using the two pointers means that the left is gonna keep moving forward and the right backward until the left pointer passed the right pointer then we're gonna stop the loop so the left pointer gonna start at the first number five and the right pointer at the number 10. so the first thing we need to do is to calculate the middle by performing an addition operation left plus right divided by two then we will check if the target is bigger than the integer at the middle index so it's true we move the left pointer to start after the middle index in simple terms it's like we are eliminating the left part of the array so that we can search only in the right half of the array because we know that the target is bigger than the middle so after calculating the middle pointer we will have a middle pointer equal to the target but remember even if it's equal we see need to check if it's the first appearance of the target in the array so we start by checking if it's index zero and here the target it's at index four so we moved to the other condition to check if the previous number is equal to the target so here we have the previous number are equal to the target so what we need to do here is to move the right pointer to the previous number and repeat the same process by calculating the middle pointer so here the number at the middle pointer is equal to the target and it's the first time it's appear in the array so we say that we found the start of the appearance of the target in the array but that is not the final result because we still need to return also the end of the appearance of the target in the array so here is how we're gonna find it by using also binary search algorithm so for finding the end appearance index of the target in the array the same process gonna be repeated the only difference will be at the conditions where the target is equal to the number at the middle index so the condition is that if the middle index is pointing at the end of the array or if the number after the middle index is not equal to the target and the middle index plus one is less than the length of the array in simple terms we check if the next number after 
capture the target is not equal to the target. Otherwise, we move the left pointer to be pointing at the middle index plus one and we repeat the same process. Means we will see need to search for the end of the target. So let's continue searching in the previous input array. So we found the start appearance and it was at index three. So we repeat the same process by calculating each time the middle index. So once we will have the number at the middle index equal to the target, we're going to check if the last appearance of the number in the array. And we're gonna do that by checking if the next number is not equal to the target. Finally, we're gonna return the start and the end appearance of the target that are generated from the two algorithms. So the time complexity for this solution is off log n because we are performing a binary search algorithm. And the space complexity is off one because we are not using any data structure to store the output result and we are only using variables. That's it guys, so let's jump at coding the solution. So first we start by initializing a left pointer and set his value equal to a function that returned the start appearance of the target inside the array and the function take as a parameter the nums array and the target then we initialize the right pointer and set his value to be a function that generate the end appearance of the target in the array at the end and we return an array that at the end he will have the start and end appearance of the target in the array nums after that we start by defining the function the first function is to get the start appearance of the start index so we start by initializing the left and the right pointers the first number and the right start at the end of the array then we loop over the array by using the two pointers while left is less or equal than right we calculate the middle pointers by grouping the left and right index divided by two then we set three condition if the target is equal to a, to the middle number we set a nested condition if the number at the middle index minus one is not equal to the target and the middle index is bigger than or equal to zero or the middle index is equal to zero we return the middle index else if none of those conditions are true we move the right pointer to be the middle index minus one else if, if the number at the middle index is smaller than the target we move the left pointer to be the middle index plus one the last condition is if the number at the middle index is bigger than the target we move the right pointer to the middle index minus one so if the target is not found in the array we return minus one so the same thing we're gonna be repeated for the second function that generated the end appearance the only difference is that we will have to change the condition when the target is equal to the number at the middle index so we say that if the number at the middle index is equal to the target we set a nested condition that say if the middle index is the last index in the array or if the number after the middle index is is not equal to the target and the middle index plus one is less than the length of the array we return the middle index which represent the end appearance of the target in the array otherwise if none of those conditions are true we move the left pointer to the middle index plus one and we restart by researching for the end index and finally if the target is not found in the array we return minus one and for the other condition they are still the same that's it guys thanks for watching see you in the next video